Hey everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and as you can see, I'm standing next to my enchanted sundial. But you know what I don't have? An enchanted moon dial. I didn't even know it was a thing. I just found out the other day, so now we're going to do a video on how to get an enchanted moon dial, what it does, how to use it, and all that fun stuff. But before we get there, as always, make sure you hit subscribe on the channel right now. We want to hit 100,000 subscribers. We can't do it without your help. Secondly, hit the bell notification so you know when I go live or drop a new video. Number three, drop a like and comment down below, and I cannot stress this enough. Please drop a like right now. Comment down below because the algorithm will love us. And finally, check out the description down below for a lot of cool links. Now, let's get into this whole sundial moon dial mess, shall we? Sounds good. All right, so before we get into the enchanted moon dial, we got to talk about the enchanted sundial because that's how we get one. So the enchanted sundial, number one, how do you get your hands on one? Well, it's simple. You can either fish up pearlwood, mithril, or titanium crates. They are contained in each one of these crates. In a pearlwood crate, you have a 1 in 200 chance. In a mithril crate, you have a 1 in 60 chance. In a titanium crate, you have a 5% or 1 in 20 chance of getting an enchanted sundial in each crate. Got that? Good. So you're going to fish for a long time. You're going to open these up like this, right click on it there you go and you get stuff Ooh, a tsunami in a bottle that's not bad and eventually you will get your hands on an enchanted sundial got it good all right, so now that we have our hands on the Enchanted Sundial, the question is, what does it do? Well, what it does, it'll fast forward time for you. So we put it down, all right? Let's pick this up here, put that down right there. And when you click on it, it'll fast forward until 4.30 a.m. the next day. So watch over here, right? Now, keep in mind, they have a seven-day cooldown period. So once you use one, you got to wait seven days to use it again, which is why it's important that we get our hands on a Moon Dial because fishing quests, trust me. Now, so we're going to right-click right here, ready, and... There you go. And as you can see, it quickly fast forwards time when it gets to 4.30 in the morning. <sighs> Done. There you go. So we have fast forwarded to the next day. So, for example, if you're doing, oh, I don't know, the 4 billion angler quest to get that achievement, <laughs> I'm not a fan. But if you're doing the angler quest, you can fast forward time to the next day to get some quests done faster. Trust me, it'll help. But now... We've got the sundial. How do we get our hands on the moon dial? What does it do? How do we get one and all that fun stuff? Now, let's go take a look, shall we? Yes, let's. All right, here we are back in the eventual all items world. And as you can see, I had a pirate event in the other world. I swear, 90% of my work going into videos is just waiting for events to end. Like, you know pirate invasions and goblin invasions and every other invasion but anyway i digress so we've got our enchanted sundial let's put it up here thank you very much beautiful and we're gonna head over to the ether biome let's go over this way there we are down the ether perfect now we're gonna wander over here to the shimmer we're gonna stand like this, this is my first time making one so hopefully i get this right we're gonna right click here and your sundial goes in and what comes out is the enchanted moon dial i do love me some shimmer so there you go there is our enchanted moon, moon dial it looks pretty now let's go to the surface put her down and see what she does all right so now what is the moon dial well basically the moon dial is a different version of the sundial I, I guess you can call it a side grade not really an upgrade so the sundial once every seven days will fast forward time to 4 30 a.m the next day right well the moon dial will fast forward until 7 30 p.m the following day or the following 7 30 p.m so as you can see right now it's 1 46 p.m if i fast forward now it'll just go a couple hours but let's say for example i just finished an angler quest right so i got the angler quest so i want to hit the next day but i can't because i got to wait around or sleep in a bed so what i can do and we'll show you in a second once we get past 7 30 you right click on it and then it'll fast forward all the way to the next day and you can continue on your questing ways because 200 fishing quests is a lot give me one second and we'll show you how she works all right, so before I click on it and show you how it works, let me give you a quick example here. This is why we want one, especially if you're going for those 200 angle requests. It's hugely important. It'll speed up time for you so fast. Anyway, so you go over to the angler. You get your quest for the day. You do your fishing quest. I don't know. You're, you're up fishing for angelfish up in these sky lakes. You come back down. You turn it in. You're done for the day, right? It's now 5.30 a.m. You're done for the day, right? No. So what we're going to do, we click on our sundial right here. Brrr, you go to the next day. You've still got a sonar potion rocking out. You go back to the angler. You use that again. Got it? Good. So you've done two now. So then what you can do, you sleep in this bed here. All right. You wake up. It's now after 7.30. So it's 8.50 p.m. on the same day. You right click. There you go. You go all the way to the next day again, but as you can see, it goes past 4.30 a.m. like the sundial would do. There we go. And it'll go all the way to 7.30 p.m. the following day. So you've used your sundial first. You turned in your quest. You slept till after 7.30. Use your moon dial. Now you're on the next day. You go back over to the angler. You've still got your sonar potion. And there you go. 
you can do another quest. Sound good? It's amazing, and it's a huge help. Trust me, if you want to get through those 200 quests, if you can use between your sundial, between your moon dial, and between your bed, you'll get them done in three to five years. It's still going to take you forever. But there you go. That is how to use your moon dial, and also how to use a sundial, and also how to do the angler quest. I'll do a whole video one day on how to do the angler quest quickly and fast and they still take forever. But anyway, if I helped you out and you found a new item today, and I hope you did, please hit subscribe right now, hit the bell notification, and all the other fun things I always say, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.